Scenes from a Kenosha County farm just heartbreaking to animal lovers tonight. Records obtained by Fox 6 show concerns about that property have been swirling for a decade. We begin tonight with this Fox 6 exclusive. Police documents reveal concerns about the Pleasant Prairie Farm dating back to all the way to 2003. That, of course, long before 24 horses were seized and the remains of 55 more were discovered in mass graves. Fox 6's Jenna Sachs tells us just how many complaints police received. Every call we took there, we took very seriously. Deputy Chief Dave Mogensen says it's nearly the same story page after page. Same thing, malnourished. 16 complaints over the last decade, many made anonymously about horses on the farm owned by Paula and David White. It's like this almost on, on every complaint. Police are told the horses are skinny, malnourished, and badly treated. Concern for the welfare of the horses, afraid they're not being cared for. But time and time again, police report no evidence of mistreatment. Each horse had its own stall. Livestock on property appeared to be of good health, no problems found. A few of those complaints came from Sherry Moctezuma, Paula White's daughter in law. In 2008, she told police 25 horses had died and their bodies buried in a back field. The coyotes would go back and dig up the bones on the horses because they didn't bury them very deep. And seven months later, police issued an abatement order against the farm after seeing horses that appeared underweight grazing in their own manure. And that's when the, the vet. Made the visit, checked them the first time. A veterinarian studied 54 horses and found just three were malnourished. A follow up visit reported improvements. Police say until recently they didn't have enough evidence to obtain a search warrant of the entire property. And last year the Whites stopped allowing officers to step foot on the farm. Unless we have credible recent information from a complainant, we cannot get on the property without a search warrant. Half of those complaints came in just the last two years. Mogensen tells us his officers deal with animals constantly being in a rural area, so they know what neglected animals look like. They're asking anyone with information about where exactly those horses came from, how they ended up on that farm, to call them or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. What's been unclear to me on this whole thing is whose horses were these? It, was it the couples? Did they own all of them? Were people boarding their horses there and just didn't check on them? what? We're told this actually used to be a very successful farm that took in a lot of horses for boarding. Um, my sources who used to work at the farm tell me that they started taking in more maybe rescue animals over time and perhaps that's when they got overwhelmed but this is all something police are trying to confirm right now so that's why they're asking people to call them if they maybe dropped off a horse at that farm at some time. Jenna Sachs in the newsroom with the Fox 6 exclusive. Thank you. A family is in mourning tonight after a fight.